Fed USA. Welcome everybody. This is Fed USA Gaming, and today, uh, in continuation of our Pokemon Collector series, uh, today is all about blister packs. So you can see what we have out here right now is a whole assortment of blisters. We're going to talk about collecting blisters, uh, three pack blisters, single pack blisters, dual pack blisters. Everything today is blister packs. Um, blister packs are a great kind of addition to anybody's collection. Um, as you know, these are, you know, I'll, I'll take the, let me just find the newest ones. All right, so here's here's Unified Minds. Blister packs, you know, this is something that Pokemon comes out with every set. Um, three pack blisters are pretty common. You see them quite a bit. Um, you know, it's a great item. Uh, blister packs usually go for, call it 15 to $20. It's a great item. They're sealed packs, you know, so if you're looking to put together a sealed collection, you don't want to put down $100 for a booster box, or you just want a couple packs from every set, blister packs are a great way to go. Um, and these three pack blisters in particular are, are really nice. You know, you get, a lot of times you get like a unique coin, you get a unique promo. Um, it's, a, it's a really nice kind of, uh, I see a lot of people kind of collect blister packs from every set. Um, and it's really a great item. Um, I'm just going to go through. I'll go through a couple of the ones we have out here. You know, some things when you're buying blister packs that that um, you should you should know. It's just you know, it, it's a little bit different on every set. You'll see like Unified Minds. You get three Unified Minds packs. Um, that's not how it always is. You know, I'm just going to go back. For example, here's the Celestial Storm blisters, and you see for Celestial Storm, you got two Celestial Storm packs, and you got one Guardians Rising. It, it depends on every set lately what Pokemon's been doing is you know you get you get uh, you get one uh, three packs all of the same set from whatever the new release is um, and really even if your store when you order these things you really don't know until um, you get them kind of what the contents are going to be here's a burning shadows so also you see here you get three burning shadows pack you get the uh, packs you get the meowth promo um, but yeah, I think it's great. Like if you're if you're looking to have a uh, start a Pokemon collection, um, you definitely want to have sealed product. You want to make sure you keep your stuff sealed. Try and keep it in good shape. And um, blister packs are a way to go. You know that I know that um, there are some people that like to collect individual packs. Um, that so the packs are sealed, um, but they just collect individual packs from each set. I think it's always better to go with something like a blister pack. Uh, if you ever want to resell your packs, uh, there you know clearly you get more resell value because uh, because it is sealed. It's something that that your buyer is going to know can't be weighed, uh, etc. Um, just to show you this one, this is another one of these where here you actually get this has a Steam Siege and Evolutions and a Roaring Skies. So you see, this is another one where it's kind of a blended blister pack. Um, I would have to say for me, um, my preference is always. To get the the three pack blisters or the essentially any of the blister packs, I'm usually looking for pack where all the packs are the same, because what I find is typically when you have someone that wants to come in to buy these, they're looking for either either you know all Ultra Prism or they want Burning Shadows. There's usually like a specific set that they're picking up, so I would say generally, um, at least for us, I mean for you, you should get whatever whatever kind of you want to collect, but I'd say for us. Um, I tend to prefer um, when all the packs are kind of the, from the same set. Um, so I'm just going to show off. We've got a couple cool blister packs here. That, you know, some you've probably seen like this Ultra Prism. Um, here's some you may have not seen. Here's an older one from Black and White. This has actually like a Plasma Storm and a Plasma Freeze pack. And this one came with three the three Legendary Birds promos. This is a pretty cool, pretty cool blister pack. This is an older one, I think. Let me see this. Yeah, this probably is like four or five years old. Um, let's go through. And and some of these actually, um, here's here's the Phantom Forces. I've got both the Phantom Forces blisters. Um, I really like this one because of the Pikachu coin. You get kind of like the yellow Pikachu coin. Um, but this comes with three Phantom Forces packs. For that set, they came out with a Shiftry promo and they came out with a uh, Dark Rye promo. Same thing, three Phantom Forces packs. I have to say, like, as the booster boxes, you know, it's very tough to find Phantom Forces booster boxes now. Um, 
you know, the, these products are good products to have in the collection um, because as those booster, box, booster boxes appreciate in value, um, if you have kind of some of the sealed products from that set, um, it ends up being a nice product. And I know that, for example, I'll give you one set. Um, here's a Dragon Vault. I, this is one of my favorite type of uh, blister packs. Um, they really don't make them like this anymore. I'm just going to try and bring it in so you can you can see it closer. This comes with three Dragon Vault packs. Um, this was a specialty set. This is probably five or seven years old. But um, and then you also got the promo. And the promos depend on uh, there's there's I think five different dragons that were featured. Um, but this was a really cool. Uh, like I haven't seen this kind of packaging uh, in a long time. And um, this is actually something that we had in our collection, but um, for the store, they've, they've essentially sold out. So we just have, I think, just this one, maybe two left. Um, but, you know, definitely some of the older blister packs, I think sometimes, um, uh, you know, they just go very quickly. But, but these are great to have kind of in a sealed collection. Um, whether maybe in the future you want to open up packs or maybe you want to resell them um, or if you just want to display them. I'm just going to show you... You know, Pokemon's done, so here you have the regular three booster pack blisters. We showed you the, uh, from the Plasma Freeze, Plasma Swarm. This is three promos and two packs. Um, they've also done, Pokemon's done a couple interesting things. Like, they've done, here's an older blister pack from Flashfire. So here you just get one pack, but then, I don't know if you can see it, but you actually get, like, um, two groups of cards here. Um... So, and what they did for this flash fire set, so there's actually four of these in the set. Um, these are these are getting older as well right now. I'll just grab. So you had kind of four different groups depending on the energy. Um, and then they all came with different kind of promos in front. Um, so here's the uh, these two promos. Then you have the Raichu one. Um, and you have the, uh, the blue type. So I think... It's pretty cool, uh, you know, here's the, the water energy, but um, this was another unique type of blister. You know, this was, here you get kind of a pre, pre-constructed list of cards. You get one pack, you know, Flash Fire was a very popular set. It's now, you know, old. It's tough to find the booster boxes, you know, sealed booster boxes of Flash Fire now. But, so another cool way to kind of collect blister packs. Um, I've just got two more that I want to show you guys. Um, that are also kind of these are a little bit like the like the phantom forces one I showed you um, but here's some furious F fist blisters um, and the uh, there's the uh, box art um, here's the uh, this is the Trevenant uh, with the Trevenant promo so you know there's a lot of ways to collect Pokemon um, you know we've already went over you know we talked about uh, we've got a video talking about elite trainers um, we're going to have other videos talking about PSA cards, um, booster boxes, etc. But I think blister packs are really a great way to go. Um, it, it is a sealed product. So just like a booster box or Elite Trainer or uh, anything like that, pre-release kits, um, they are things that uh, there's less, less sealed product over time. Kind of a really nice thing to have in your collection. I definitely recommend the, you know, having a blister versus... For example, um, having a collection of kind of loose packs, um, and uh, and I like I said, I really prefer to have kind of all one set in the uh, in the blister. So three Ultra Prism or you know three Phantom Forces or something like that. But um, you know we we've got a lot of these blister packs in stock. If there's some you're looking for, reach out to us at FedUSAGaming.com uh, and um, and yeah, I just, I just com uh, complete the video by saying, you know, this blister packs are a great way to go. This is a great entry level kind of collector product. Um, if there's a, if you, if there's something that uh, maybe you have a, a blister pack that's not kind of uh, talked about in the video, why don't you put a comment below, tell me kind of uh, a blister pack that something you're collecting or something that you're saving up money to collect or something you're looking for, or maybe just what, uh, what your favorite one, maybe, maybe you like really love the open unbroken bonds. Maybe it's unified minds, but, um, yeah, leave, leave a, uh, leave, leave a like or comment below and tell us what you're collecting. Uh, and also as part of the uh, collector series, if there's something else, um, that you're collecting or you like to see, you know, let us know in the comments and we'll try and make some, uh, content on it. All right. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.
fit USA Gaming. Feed your passion.